Hello students. Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss the lecture number 12 from the chapter number 3. And the name of chapter is Inheritance and Variation. So today's topic sex determination in honey bees. we in previous lecture we have discuss about the sex determination in human beings as well as birds now today the sex determination in honey bees in honey bees the chromosomal mechanism of sex determination is of haplodiploid type in this case females are diploid diploid female means 2n equal to 32 chromosomes and males are haploid that contain n is equal to 16 number of chromosomes the female produces haploid eggs that is n is equal to 16 by the meiosis process and male produces haploid sperm that is n is equal to 16 by the process of mitosis here one point is noted that female produces haploid egg by the process of meiosis and male produces haploid sperm by the process of mitosis if the egg is fertilized by sperm the zygote develops into the diploid female and that forms that means here 2n is equal to 32 number of chromosomes are there that produces either queen and worker because queen and worker are produce by the fertilization process and that are mainly diploid so queen and workers are form the unfertilized eggs develop into haploid male in is equal to 16 by the process of parthenogenesis so in this case what is parthenogenesis parthenogenesis means the development of new individual without the process of fertilization and that is known as parthenogenesis means in this condition the unfertilized egg directly develop to form haploid male or drone having n is equal to 16 number of chromosomes so the males are produces by the process of parthenogenesis here the haplodiploid sex determination system is there in case of female 2n is equal to 32 number of chromosomes are there and male having with n is equal to 16 number of chromosomes females are diploid and males are haploid so this diploid female undergoes meiosis to form two sets of two sets with n is equal to 16 and here n is equal to 16 so two sets are formed in case of male only the mitosis division takes place and then there is formation of haploid set n is equal to 16 now the fertilization occurs between the haploid female with the haploid male that undergoes fertilization and to form diploid female so diploid zygote develops to form the female with 2n is equal to 32 number of chromosomes so here diploid females are form either queen and worker with the help of fertilization but the males are produced males or drones they are produced without the process of fertilization or we can say that parthenogenesis process so here in this case this haploid 
develops to form directly male without fertilization by the process of parthenogenesis hence the diploid females produce and haploid males produce in case of honey bees hence the determination of sex is haplo diploid type the diploid female get differentiated into worker or queen here this is the fact that the diploid female get differentiated to form worker and queen depending upon the food they consume during development here the female get differentiated to form worker or king worker or queen means the formation of worker and queen depends upon the food they consume during the development so diploid larvae which get a royal jelly the larvae which get the royal jelly as a food that develops to form queen and queen is fertile particularly it involve in the process of fertilization so formation of queen when they eat royal jelly and the other develops into the worker or sterile female that is called workers here the honey bee species apis mellifera in this case in case of honey bees the queen and worker both are female and they are diploid they are produced by fertilization process and this one is drone which is produced by parthenogenesis process so here just the diagram is given for information the species of honey bees are apis mellifera apis dorseta apis indica so these are the different species so this is all about the sex determination in case of honey bees thank you if you like my videos then comment it like it and subscribe it for to get next videos thank you